Hey everyone, welcome back to another practice session. Today, we're diving into something super relatable, running late for an appointment. In today's conversation, we've got two characters, Ryan and Jake. Ryan is a calm, organized guy who rarely runs late, while Jake is, let's just say, a bit more easily distracted. They're going to share their experiences and tips on how to handle being late. Feel free to share your thoughts or your own experiences in the comments below. Let's jump right in. So Jake, you ever had one of those moments when you suddenly realized you were running late? Oh man, way too many times. I remember this one time, I had a big job interview that I'd been preparing for all week. I was going over my notes at home when I glanced at the clock and it hit me, I was already 20 minutes behind schedule. My heart just dropped you know. It's like your brain freezes for a second while your body is telling you to move. That sounds rough. What was your first reaction? Did you start rushing around or try to stay calm? Well, I tried to stay calm for about five seconds. Then it was total chaos. I rushed to throw on some clothes, grabbed my keys, and basically ran out the door. You know, when you're in a rush, and suddenly it feels like everything slows down. Like, your shoes take forever to put on, and the door doesn't close fast enough. It was like that. Totally. Did you try calling ahead to let them know you'd be late? Yeah, I did. I sent a quick text, but you know how it is. You're typing all fast, trying not to make typos, and it still feels like it takes forever. My interview was cool about it though, which was a relief. I was imagining them sitting there, annoyed, waiting for me. But thankfully, they didn't seem too bothered when I messaged them. That helped take the edge off a little. Good call. So, how did you handle the pressure of needing to speed up? Did anything unexpected happen that made it worse? Oh man, of course. Just my luck, there was construction on the road I normally take. So not only was I running late, but now I had to deal with traffic too. It was like the universe was testing me or something. I had this moment where I thought, maybe, I should have just stayed home. Every time I thought, I was catching up, something else would slow me down. That's always how it goes, right? What was going through your mind as you were trying to get there? Were you thinking of excuses? Oh, for sure. I was rehearsing a million different ways to explain why I was late. Sorry there was traffic, or I got held up at home. I was also thinking about how bad I felt for making my interview wait. But honestly, at that point, I was more focused on just getting there. It's like you're constantly watching the clock and hoping the minutes magically slow down. I was already preparing to face the music. Did you have any backup plan in case you couldn't make it on time? Like maybe rescheduling? I thought about it, but now. I didn't want to bail. I was mentally preparing to apologize big time when I showed up. I figured worst case, I'd just have to deal with my interview, being annoyed. Plus, I'd already committed to this interview, so I wasn't going to let a little lateness stop me. I even considered what I'd say if I had to reschedule, but I really didn't want to go that route unless it was the last resort. When you finally got there, how did you feel? Did you go with the act cool approach or were you apologizing nonstop? I wish I could say I acted cool, but nah, I was all about the apologies. I walked in, hands up like, I'm so sorry. My interview just laughed and was like, dude, it's fine. 
It was a mix of embarrassment and relief. You know, when you've been rushing and finally arrive, you're just happy, it's over. That was me. I was so glad, they didn't make a big deal out of it. That's a relief. How did your interviewer actually react? Were they chill, or did they give you a hard time? They were super understanding, actually. I was expecting a bit of a lecture, but they were just caught up in their own stuff, so it wasn't a big deal. They didn't even seem to notice, I was as late as I thought. I think sometimes, we make things a bigger deal in our heads, and people aren't as upset as we imagine. It was nice not to have to explain myself too much. That's lucky. Looking back, what would you do differently next time, to avoid the stress of being late? Honestly, I'd set an alarm, like a real one, not just rely on casually checking the time. I'd also give myself a bigger cushion, like 15 to 20 minutes, just in case something random comes up, like traffic or a flat tire. It's the little things, that always throw you off. Plus, I definitely avoid taking that construction route. Lesson learned. Great advice. So, if you had to give one piece of advice to anyone watching who might have a habit of running late, what would it be? Hum, I'd say, always plan for the unexpected. Give yourself more time than you think you need because things like traffic or random delays will always come up. And don't forget, it's not the end of the world. If you're late, just be honest and communicate. People usually understand as long as you keep them in the loop. Plus, the less you stress, the smoother things tend to go. Thanks for sharing that, Jake. It's always good to hear how others handle those moments of panic. I think we can all relate to running late at some point. Absolutely. It's just one of those things that happens to everyone. I'm glad we could chat about it and maybe help some folks out there feel a little less stressed about being late. For sure. So, to everyone watching, remember, life happens and sometimes we can't control the clock. Just be sure to plan ahead and keep communication open. Exactly. And if you've ever had a crazy late experience, we'd love to hear about it in the comments. What did you do? How did you manage? Share your stories below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more relatable content. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.